Welcome back to the show. I hope you all are having a great week. Today we are going to play the game of circles that is supposed to be the digital replacement for the ballpoint game. Now there are just so many lessons that you can learn from this game and I cannot stress enough that Malud has done an excellent job with this template. Uh, in our retro we just could not keep from diving deeper and deeper into the different lessons that we were learning and just that cannot thank her enough for this template and the link to her uh, where she has her own video for explaining this template and the landing page for it is going to be in the description below. Go check it out, uh, download her template and play with your teams it is excellent. Uh, but before we get started, I have of course have to give credit to where it is due and promote my awesome players. Uh, big thanks to Tim, Aruna, Steve, another Tim and Trisha. And the links to their LinkedIn's will be in the description below if, you know, you need their expertise sometime. Don't forget, you can support the channel in the ways to the left of me over here. And there are both free and paid options, as you can see. Uh, but the links will be in the description below to do so. And of course, you can find all relevant links and links to bookmarks if you want to skip to certain parts in the description below. Without, without further ado, though, we will roll that beautiful intro and get started. So this is the Game of Circles, and this was created by Malud, and I'm not going to pretend I know how to pronounce her last name. She is the, I believe, the leader at Re Remote Forever, and she created this Game of Circles as a, a kind of virtual replacement for the ballpoint game. And it is supposed to teach you uh, how to use sprints, retrospectives, and planning sessions, and uh, apparently many more things. So we're going to get started here. We're going to look at the rules. I created a, this is not in her template, but I created a little uh, play space over here for anyone who wants to test it out um, in terms of just passing stuff back and forth. But the rules are, the goal is to pass as many balls as possible through the number areas in the two black and yellow circles. So we're going to pass these balls through one, two, three, four, and five to these different circles. So the yellows are going to go in the black circle. The blacks are going to go in the yellow. Uh, there's going to be three sprints. Each ball must pass through all numbered areas in the right order from one, two, three, four, and five. So yes, in order. All the small black balls, as we just discussed, will go in the yellow circle, and the small yellow balls will uh, must end up in the black circle. The first person who picks up the ball must also be the person who places the ball uh, from area five into the circle. Um, it is not allowed for one person to move the small ball or the same ball twice in a row. You must switch players after making a move. Each sprint is going to be seven minutes and there's going to be how many sprints? I forget. There are going to be three sprints. Um, so we're going to have three different sprints of seven minutes. You're going to have three minutes of playtime, three minutes of retrospective and one minute of planning. And this is where I should probably use the handy dandy tool down here to stopwatch. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna put one minute and uh, you are the team. I'm gonna enable so we can see everyone's cursors here and bring everyone to me. <clears throat> and we're going to uh, start here for your planning session now. Okay. okay. I'll take the one to two spot. So somebody needs to move the the ball's to one, and then I'll move them from one to two. I'll, I'll move it to one. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Trisha. Go ahead. It's it's all you. Okay, I'll take. I'll move it from one uh, from zero to one. I'll move them from two to three then. Ah. So, Runa, you that might, that means you also need to make them land mm -hmm. from five. Five to, six. to five you to the both. big circle. You, yeah, you do both. Yep. Oh, I'll okay. do three to four. That was me four to five. All right, Rune, then you got it there from there on. You do a double duty. Oh, I didn't say okay. Yes, I will. Woohoo! I didn't realize that was going to happen. I feel a little evil now. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. I You're welcome. It. I was trying and to she, be nice. <laughs> she starts it, she finishes it. So, as a team, you have to estimate how many balls you will drive uh, to the destination and write it down. Sprint one, how many do you think you'll? Let's say 20, 25. 25. 25? Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think that's a good goal. 
Is it? Is it low? I, I don't know. I'm, you know, is, is I'm it swagging the lowest it. Counts or is it just number of balls? Can we do all black balls and nothing else? Uh, just have ah. to get the balls to the place. That's all I know. That's, that's up. To, that's up to us to decide. I think yeah. uh, the goal is to get all the balls over there in both colors. Right, but why don't we focus on yellow first? Yeah. Right. Trish, you think twenty-five is realistic? First out. Give it a go. I don't. I, I don't. Out. I don't estimate, so <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna go. say we're out of planning time because uh, uh, I, I kind of. I'm gonna say nine. Nine. Okay. Steve says nine, right. but everyone else says twenty-five. So we're going to start at three minutes. So on your mark, get set, go. All right, and now your retrospect, if I can restart the timer, the retrospective will start, and here it is. Right. I'm going to clean up the so, board while you guys do that. So we can immediately double, like basically double it, right? Because our room was the bottleneck. We could double it by having doing one person putting on yellows and taking off yellows, one person putting on blacks and taking off blacks. And that's that the in the middle. Free for all in the that's middle. Good. A free for all in the middle. Yeah, just do yeah. what you do. So, so say that again. Say that again. One person. So one person putting on and sure. taking off yellows. Okay. One person take putting on and taking off blacks. The rest bedlam. Yeah. So Aruda, gotcha. you stick with yellow, and Trisha, you could go with black. And then Trisha, you can also keep your spot as one to two as well. No, you can't. Uh, you, uh, no, I'll no, pull. I'll that's pull. Too much. That's too much. I'll pull one to two, and then I'll push. Four to five, okay. because then I won't have the step in. I'll just three. stick with my one to two on, for both colors. Okay. Okay. Well, and then I'll I'll stick stick on pulling three and four across with both colors. Yeah, but don't don't feel you have to stay there. Like when it's stacked up somewhere, just. But somebody you know, has to go for for black needs to go from one to two. But, yeah, uh, I, oh. I'll, I'll cover both colors. Yeah. No, you know, okay, I'll, so I'll look two, for I'll look for wherever process. we've got we've got and look ebb and flow and I'll adjust accordingly. Yeah, you can do it symmetrically too, right? Because you can't do consecutive one to two, two to three. So someone's got to do like one to two and three to four. The other person does two to three and four to five, and mm -hmm. I'll float. Right. So who wants one to two? I'll do one to nope. two. That's what I've been doing. And three to and four. And then I'll do four to five. And who and wants I'll do two three to three, four? Four to okay. five. I'll do one and two, and then I'll do three and four. Yep, then you're not consecutive, right? So you're good. Yeah. Their person will be down. I'll float. I'll float on the ball next. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Are ready? We're giving who's up the doing? uh the retrospective. The rest who's of the doing? 53 minute, 53 seconds. Yeah, who's doing black? We're so confident. So I'm doing yellow, Trisha. You're doing black, right? All right. All right. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're not. We're not quite done. I still need a number for how much you predict you're going to get in the sprint. What did we get last time? 42. 42. I 80. guess you can double that? No, 70. 70, yeah. 70 would be safe, I would say, yeah. Yeah, because we want to get our we want to get our bonus. If we go, you know, if you go under. <laughs> oh my gosh, are we now officially underestimating and trying to over deliver? Like yes. we are like <laughs> the epitome of not agile right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're being we're, pragmatic. We're, saying, okay, we're, we're doing saying, all the things so, I tell all my teachers but you know what? not to do. But wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if, we, if we do that consistently, we should be consistently under, right? So management should compensate by knowing we'll be over. By oh my gosh, time. my heart hurts hearing that. <laughs> no, you know, even better, I, I like Nolan's concept of look at all that waste. And so we subtract the waste. <laughs> So I am going to start the timer for one minute of planning that you guys are going to waive the one minute of planning or are you going to do the one minute of planning? I think we know what we're doing. So okay, we're so. Well, actually, we don't know what we're doing, but, you know, we'll wing it. So they have opted to go without their uh, one minute of planning. So we're going to share the screen and we're going to start the timer at three minutes and team ready, set, go. <laughs> All 
All right, time's up. Stop your stop your clicking. Let me, let me do worse this time. Oh no, look at that. That's not fun. All right, so we got 46 for the total for round for that round. So I'm gonna reset the timer, give you guys three minutes to retrospect, and you can start. Nope, no bonus for anybody. So where was the bottleneck this time? Was it in the start or? No, I think I clear was the bottleneck for two reasons. One, I was I was trying to deal with both colors at number one. So we had too much. Yeah, yeah and okay. I was trying to mass select to try to save time and causing problems. It wasn't okay. being it wasn't very effective. We got a lot of waste on the on the thing too. We should have. Yeah. I got one minute. I said just stop putting things on. Maybe we should be like at halftime. Stop putting things on. Yeah. It, the putting things on doesn't matter. I mean, there's no penalty for the waste. So me having things in one didn't stop anything because yeah. I can't support two or three. So that right. not me not putting anything onto one doesn't really do anything. Now, no, what no. I can do is group in, uh, several of these objects instead of like actually like group them before I put that because that's not in the rules to do. So when I move these ones, they move all together as for instead of you what you were doing, Tim, of trying to mass select. <laughs> You move yep. these as a group of four, and that we can do that um, based on the how, rules. How do you do that, Trisha? You now, wouldn't I have to reselect those? No, once it stays you select together no, as one group. Grouped, so go ahead and try and select one. those. Oh, you group how, them. How okay. did you how did you group them? There's a grouping if you select of them, and one of the drop down options in the the uh, um, oh. is this little icon here of right next to after bold paragraph font color some graphy thing, then this thing, it group, it's a grouping function. Wait, wait, this is in the... It's right before the three dots. I think if you just hit the letter G, it also groups. Oh, does it when you select a bunch of stuff? Let me find out, maybe I'm wrong. I wouldn't do more than four because you got to stay within the circles. So you got to select. Yeah, the G doesn't work. Control G, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I, I got to get more familiar with Miro. I only use it every now and then. Okay. But there's also potential of whoever's doing four to five can be assisting two into three and then helping also four back into five, right? Is but that's going to create the bottleneck, a new bottleneck of who was ever in the third position. But that's that balance. Do we need to do we need to separate people out between <laughs> regions in the middle? I think please someone help us out, please. The, the people putting things on no, and off, no. like the, people putting things on to one and off of five, they can do anything too. I mean, it's just you know. I I know, but but it's, yeah, well. Okay, you're right. You're yeah, right. I can pull from two into three. That's you are correct with that. Yeah, yeah you just gotta yeah, do yeah. at least one. Yeah, I like yeah. that, Steve. Thank you. Right, so you can do like you, you can do one on to one, and then you can do and like two and three, three from one to two. We can't do one to two, but we can do two to three then. Hey, we're <clears throat> we're out of time. Okay. So what's the plan? Do we have to reset the board. We we'll just keep going. No, he's got to reset the board. James, you're on mute, man. Um, I said I will reset the board. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> uh, and Tim, I, I muted you as well, just because we heard some background noise. So um, I think we, what's the plan? Since we're near plan, we got 30 seconds left to plan. We can. I think we said that people will do the, you know, zero to one, and then we'll help out in two to three, three to four, whatever. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to do groups of fours. Okay. Oh, so wow. How I, I, many I, I, do you think you're going to be I, able to get? Uh, Let's shoot for 70. We under we underproduced the last time around. Yeah. Okay, Tricia, sorry. One more time. Walk me through the grouping. You, should, if you, don't you just mind. say 60 because we... Or you just so... stay stay with your individual if you don't know. How, I'll, I'll do the grouping. You stay with the individual. It's okay. 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 All right. Oh, good. We're going to get All more right, productivity so out of this. Starting now.
All right, that's it. Impressive. That was better. That was better. Let's, uh, let's count them up. And much less waste, too. 49 for 28. Yeah. Or maybe a really, really fast team. What is, uh, so we had 49 plus 28 is the total <coughs> after you put it up, and whatever that number is, is I can make you pull up a calculator. Yeah. It's just 70. less than 70. Yeah. 77. Okay. Ooh, look at that. 77. Once again, just stick with the numbers. It's a total for sprint three. Okay, so now I'm going to start the three minute retro and starting now. I don't think we can do better than this. We might be able to do better if we did, like, I mean, if you look, we did groups of four. I wonder if groups of, you know. Five or three. Yeah, yeah I mean, it'd still have to, you know, basically it'd have to be a box to fit inside the. Uh, so it's interesting that we, in the second round, the first two rounds, we assume that the person who's moving the balls from zero to one and one to five, I don't know, in my head, I interpret it as, that person couldn't do two, three, and four. Right. Oh, I did a little bit of two and three, or three did, this go around. Yep. Yeah, this go around, I did. I did two. I did three and four, and four and five. Yeah. But I did four and five a lot. Um, but I didn't. In the my, my, I guess my point was that in the first two rounds, I yeah. I I assumed an implied constraint that wasn't there. Yeah, I do note that it says you can't move the same ball twice, which means you can move one ball from four to five, another right. ball from four to five. Go back with the first ball from five to thing, right? I think I think you hit on something, Steve, which is which is looking at where you can move right within that constraint. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you can you can as remember it's each one. You don't have to stay, you know, two, three, two, three, two, three. As soon as you move one to two or three, right? Move another two or three, and move the next one from three to four. You can mm -hmm. go back in pairs, right? As long yep. as you're switching not the same ball consecutively, you're good. So I guess in terms of learning outcomes in this game, what were they? Well, I mean, we're not done yet. We still have uh, two more rounds, right? Two more yeah, rounds. Two more rounds. Oh my God, my not take it. <laughs> okay, so okay, my pickaxe is three minutes out. way too long. Yeah, it's three just... minutes is way too long. <laughs> yeah. Like my wrist is gonna be killing by the yeah. end of this. Yeah. You want to switch out, Maroon? You want to do something else? Well, it's it's not even it's uh it's just three minutes. Re regardless of which role you're in, you're still just doing a lot of little clicks and movement of the with the mouse for three yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And hey, James, uh, I mean the rules say there's three sprints, but there there's room for five sprints on this. So I don't know if we're done or if we want to yeah. keep going. I thought we were done with three sprints. That's a good point. I did say three, and the rules do say three. So maybe. Um, I, I don't know. That's that's interesting. I have four for five. Oh, we're, so, we're done. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just <laughs> demonstrating so right, my, my tool for efficiency here. Just saying. I think the, yeah, I think the, I think the lessons have been learned here. So I'm okay. Sprint five, right. <laughs> five is notes. Sprint five is notes. Yeah, that's all. Or, that is is. Interesting. Yeah, you did say three. I mean, are you happy with three rounds or did you want to? I, I think the community will be, get the point at three. That's perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah. And it does, the rules do say three. So I will, of course, abide by the rules. Um, when I do the ballpoint game, I only do three rounds as well. Yeah. Good to know. This, this, hey, game you know better, this game be better at two minutes, not three. I mean, and I think, yeah. and I I think when you look at what we estimated, I mean, we, we uh, in sprint we one, we underestimated sprint two. We over, you know, like we got too confident. I think three, we finally got it together. Which yeah. is the classic roller coaster yeah. we're looking for, anyway. Yeah. 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 Well, look, we got our bonus in round three. That's great. Sprint three. All you so, private sector folks, I'm a bureaucrat. I don't know. I have no idea what a bonus is. Hey, I'm I'm a reformed <laughs> bureaucrat. <laughs> Aruna said it earlier. It's just the kind of the classic roller coaster uh, that. Uh, it happens in most teams getting started. I think you yeah. kind of have a, yeah. also a classic, you know, storming and norming kind of thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I think no. we leveraged, and also the thing is we leveraged the strength that people had on the tool, like Trisha's idea for grouping really accelerated, right? Increased velocity, sort of. Yeah, what I think you should do 
to reflect reality is that after sprint three, you should change the rules. Like you should get maybe sprint four, but sprint five, it should be like something totally di like different. Cause that's more realistic, right? That's like, it's, it's <laughs> like you have to move it, like you have to move it backwards, for instance, you have to move it. Cause the, I mean, the reality like this game, you're gonna, you're gonna get to a point where you you are getting like 70, 75, 75, 75. It's gonna be consistent, right? That's not life. If you said on sprint three to four, you said, right, you got the idea now, Right. Yeah. Change the requirement. Yeah. You can, you know, you gotta move, got got gotta do only, you know, odd odd numbers than even numbers. So that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. But I guess one to three to five, two to four to four and out. So yeah, Steve, I think I think Trisha has something be? that she wants to to contribute right. here. It's okay. Sorry, Trisha, go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it kind of depends on what you're really trying to get out of these. A lot of these exercises, especially virtually, but even in person, you can draw on and emphasize any one of these points a little bit more. I tend to not want to focus so much on the estimate. In fact, I will make a point to say nowhere in the rules does it say you have to be you have to beat your estimate. We make that assumption. We True. live in that world. Nowhere in yeah. the rules does it talk even about the estimate being anywhere near the prediction and being part of the objective of the game. We create those rules kind of like Aruna, you know, mentioned before of like assumptions and, and yeah. constraints and things. <laughs> Um, what I find with this is this seems to have a little bit more of an emphasis on that estimating things versus the inspect and the adapt and the, you know, experimentation of trying different things and seeing what works and doesn't work. And I think mm. that might actually be com combined with the three minutes because it just feels longer, like you're more invested in it um, with that. Uh, because I would have even, if we had another round, there's technically nothing in here that says... Yeah. Oh, I, it does say yellow balls, but I mean, I would have even liked to have like said, well, more people, you know, could we change the color of the balls? And like, you know, like even with the grouping, I was looking for additional ways to experiment and get creative um, where the focus seemed to be more on the estimate and the prediction. Yeah. And I, you know, I like, I like the point that you're making, uh, Trisha, and, and I'm, I'm sure we've all heard this, that, you know, measurements in and of themselves are not bad is when we start really fixating on a measurement that that's when it becomes evil. You know, it, it's, it's the, it's the double-edged sword. It's almost like Schroeder's, Schrodinger's cat. Is the cat dead or alive? You know, measurements, unfortunately, um, I think, I think kind of strip the creativity out of, out of what can be done, you know, and, yeah. and to your point, uh, you know, maybe the, maybe the focus that, that we take away from the experience is, Hey, you know, it, it really is about the experimentation and adaptation and figuring out what's working at the moment and then being willing to change when it stops working. That would make it a longer game though, Tim, wouldn't it? it oh would, yeah. yeah. You, would, but, you would need more than three sprints. And um, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what is the purpose of this particular game? Going back to that, what's the intention you want people to walk away with James? Oh, well, uh, Again, this is Malud's game. I'm just playing it. <laughs> but there's, uh, the, I believe the intention, uh, as I read at the beginning, was to how to use sprints, retrospectives, and planning sessions. And she actually has a link to her video, which will be in the description below, where uh, she talks that, you know, there's many more things you can get out of it. And I believe that Trisha kind of touched on that to a degree that depends on what you're emphasizing. You can use this game to emphasize. Yeah. Different collaboration, things. experimentation, yeah, right. yeah. estimation, so, uh, like you mentioned creativity, assumptions and constraints that we place on ourselves that aren't technically there. Yeah. So the, I guess uh, the question I have is because you were so involved in figuring out how to move those balls and how efficiently to move those balls, how many of us actually paid attention to the fact that we were sprinting, um, that we planned and then and you know we executed and we retrospected. For, for if you were to do this for the new team, the, a team that's not done Agile before, I think they wouldn't pay a lot of attention to all of those things that we want to teach them in terms of Scrum framework in that way. I think they'd walk away like in the minutiae of the game. <laughs> and, and to your point, oh, we did 75. We've got to get better at, you know, we get more accurate at our estimates, which is the most optimal. So what I do at the end of mine is essentially we plan a little, try a little, reflect a little, plan a little, try a little, reflect a little. And, right. and, and it's actually my entry point into starts describing Scrum is now we're going to plan a little, try a little, you know, learn yeah. a little. And, and so, um, 
I, I, you're right. I think a lot of people don't realize that sprint dynamic within you're doing it, but I, I then simplify it even further and then use that as my entry. And then I reinforce that as I'm teaching scrum. So we want to plan a little because you don't know if you can grab that ball or not. Right. <laughs> it doesn't matter the world's best plan if you can't grab the ball. Um, and and right. so then I use that to reinforce. So it's a great visual exercise where they get to experience it, but not understand the whole concept of sprints and right. stuff. And then you get to layer that back in later as they're learning it. I, I I wanna, think, sorry. I wanna, try, I wanna try this game, but with five different color balls and we're only allowed to work our own thing. Well, you want to help me create a template and you'll be happy for you to facilitate it next time. It'll be a whole nother <laughs> video. <laughs> so, so. I just want to see if that would, if you go faster as like a as collaborating group rather than like each person doing their own thing. I just wonder. And, and yeah. so to Steve, to that point though, with it a little bit is, is one of the things that I encourage when I'm doing any of these um, is, is I actually don't tell them at all, like any kind of summary afterwards. I'm like, what can you draw from this? And I leave it a very blank access kind of open question because what I find is they're going to come up with a lot more sometimes than even my key points. And I can, I can add those in as we're going forward, but it really, if you, if you follow it up with that blank access and then add your key points to whatever they're highlighting, it, it reinforces it a little bit more, but I find so many of these exercises, whether you're in person or online, I've had people walk away and they'll say something and I'm like, oh, you got that from this? Fantastic. Not sure that wasn't intentional. <laughs> you know what, Patricia, though, you, 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 hit on the, you hit on two things that, that resonated with me, which is, which is first, of, first of all, first and foremost, is, is it has to be framed open-ended because that's where I think a lot of the spark comes from and, and also framed in the yes and, which is the additional learning. You know, the, the, the additional insight that because we're talking through this stuff, it, it allows people to, to um, what it, free associate. That's what it is. Sorry, I just okay. wanted to get footage. I'm stopped sharing now. <laughs> so the question for you, James, for this from a scaling perspective, I don't think I would be able to do this with significantly more people where it would, wouldn't cause certain issues. Like would, so I, I would imagine you might have multiple circles where they're kind of competing against different tables or different teams? Oh, well, so Maluda's thought of that. And so there's actually uh, the game board that we were playing on. There's actually multiples of those in her template that she has on Miro for made for like, she has like five or six different of these uh, sets so that you can play with multiple teams. I, I just knocked it down to one because that's all we needed. Yeah. So if anyone's watching online, that that is. I guess you could also make your circles bigger, you know, go up to 10 also is, a, is an alternative to scale it. Oh, well, true. that's true. If we had multiple games going on, you know, when we do the retrospective and, and, and I was I was part of a, a facilitation that did this, we collectively, we talked as a team and then we brought the whole group back together, all 30 of us to kind of discuss and we kind of learned from each other. And then we went back to- That's a whole new sprinter. set of interesting right. learnings is the sharing information and transparency across teams. I like that. Yeah, I like what really you pointed cool. out, Trisha, was you can't, you can't tell them everything. They have to, you know, they come up with it themselves and you just kind of like, oh yeah, all right, let's roll with that then, you know, it's- and then, you know, <laughs> I'm always amazed on, you know, how much the yeah. collective actually comes up with it. Well, you, you know, and that's the beauty of human dynamics and complex adaptive systems, in, in my opinion. You know that it, it there isn't a one size fits all. You know, there's 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 a lot of discovery, and I think I think oftentimes we we get it we get it beat out of us that that inspirational spark, and coming back to something simple and pretty straightforward, but yet intellectually challenging, revives that spirit and that spark, and people go, you know what? Yeah, yeah, maybe it is a good maybe it is good to take a mental break every once in a while to reset. It's true. I really like that. I, that idea. Uh, I just want to second that being able to use Malud's template. And then now like you're switching the players across boards and like how, like if you mix up your teams, it's like you lose that momentum and those right. learnings. I feel like, man, I, I wish I could have played that at some of the companies I worked at before. That just blew my mind <laughs> in terms of trying to scale stuff and move stuff around. Well, like, you know, what are you doing? It's a, it's, a, it's a great example of the Duckman model in, in, uh, in a safe space, really. 
That's actually, I like that idea, like have bringing a bunch, like have a retro, but for three teams. And then like on sprint three, swap them. That would be hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, That's wait, nice isn't, isn't the concept of a stable, steady team? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is an anti-pattern, by the way. Yeah, um, I'm just saying, you know, just you can, just you can learn all these lessons from this if you just, you know, configure the game just slightly differently. Just for uh, and, and, and I'm just saying, it's a light, it's a light way to impose any patterns on the system, right? So when you impose any patterns, um, you can play with yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in a, in so many so many of the, the the virtual systems today are 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 geared like zoom to have these breakout rooms where it's like man it's so so incredible because if you switch people out you're going to be bringing in new perspective and fresh ideas but, but disruption at the same time yeah oh true interesting <laughs>